it's multi-tiered. Uh, you know, we have to deal with what is. Uh, you know, we're kind of going. Uh, we, we deal with the treatment end of it, and uh, obviously, uh, you know, the, the best solution is we don't create continue to perpetuate the problem. And, uh, that is going to be training. And uh, we one thing I just got my thought. You know, a lot of private public partnerships. Uh, you know, they're, they're terrific organizations here in Pueblo. Uh, you know, but uh, I think that there are probably some good opportunities maybe for us to be able to be doing. Some of that teaching, uh, some of the life skills teaching, and to see where the resources are going to be. Uh, you know, in, in regards to, uh, and that was part of the package of our bills as well. Uh, you know, for law enforcement end of it, uh, we, we have some people, and you know, like I said, I think from, from the hard end of this, uh, you know, you, you have a lot of people that unwittingly uh, became victims almost of the drug uh, through uh, virtually no fault of their own. It was a prescription. We've seen it uh, certainly within our veteran community, uh, you know, a lot of challenges that they, they were facing there. Uh, but uh, being able to go after those who are actually trying to distribute the product, uh, you know, having the tools for our law enforcement to be able to work with effectively and uh, uh, have the best advice that we can uh, to try and address that. Because I, I know that the one put you guys in any kind of spot, but just visiting when we're talking about cartel activity, uh, uh, you know, here in the, in the Pueblo area, throughout our state. That's pretty prevalent. 